So I want to ask tonight, the oldness administration is saying that they're recruiting teacher. Oh, but it's not teach. Oh, I forget, you know. You know what them did plan to do from last year? And I want her to answer the question. Favall, how much AI teachers you have coming to teach September? <laughs> Mm. Yes, Jamaica. But I wanted to know who had the previous contract for the hospital and if there was a tender process that went out for the person to get the contract to my surprise jamaica the previous person who got the contract was patsy lynn and caterers. You heard what I said? Patsy Lynn and caterers. Not that. Put up the picture first, please. See it there? So this was the contract signing that happened in 2020 for the contract but something interesting must be recognized with the contract to jamaica there were even talks then about the acts of nepotism of the said contract because one of the directors in Patsy Lynn's and caterers, one of the managing directors, is the baby mother of a government senator. Hey, hey. What I just said to you in Jamaica. Only now, no other contract can run, but me just make one you know. So in 2020, this said Patsy Lynn Caterers, who was awarded the contract, is said to be a government senator, baby mother. Only oh, you what I just said to you. No? Are it no strike or no? It no sweet or no good yet. So then a lot of persons were saying, what qualifies such person, the Patsilin Company, to get the contract? I don't think you hear it, you know. I go and say it for a final time. The person who was awarded the contract in 2020, one of the government senator's baby mother is the managing director of that said company. <laughs> what a bangarang! <laughs> But on a nasty drift. Patsy Lynn Caterers is doing the said work that doing Smith's, Carlin Smith's company is doing. But look at the scope of the work now. Put it on the pink 
ping something let them see for me producer me not talk about for baby man on the soon no sent on people good night hey <laughs> lord jesus <laughs> so the three-year contract was signed between the south East Regional Health Authority and the service provider Patsilin Caterers Limited, Monday the 10th of August at the National Chess Hospital. Under the contract, three meals will be provided daily for doctors, interns, and patients at the hospital. All right. <laughs> Holy Ghost. <laughs> blacks, you know, make you know, Joe Blacks, you know, mix me tonight. Mm -hmm. Go back to the first page, the thing with them. Um, look at, so this, that are the scope, right? Hold on, let me find out how much the, the contract did value again. Because I had that, you know, you know. I'm getting it, guys. Don't worry, coming. So, look at this now. The contract. The contract was valued at $1.164 billion. I don't think you hear it. So, the contract of Patsilin was... valued at 1.164 billion the contract of carleen smith go back to the contract we're doing val the next one no man not that yeah look now the contract to do the said service jamaica the said service, you know, was now 2.1 billion. What a tangled web. I me, 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 me not think when I get where me I go. But look upon that. The service provider, I provide the same service. Same description of what is to be done. So one up here, you pay one, 1.64, and the next one, 2.1 bill, that, that, that. So me I go ask, who no know Jamaican people? Them going to argue to us that is because of inflation, but inflation can raise the bill from 1.1 billion to 2.1 billion. Me I gonna ask you now again. Even if it's inflation, Jamaica, inflation can carry the bill to another billion. Me go ask you again, Jamaica people. Them a cook, and then what is very alarming about this situation is that when you ask Sarah 
why there weren't any procurement processes. Apparently, most of the people don't qualify for the procurement. So it looked like a partner draw up for Patsy in this time, yeah. And now it happened for um, Carlin Smith and Company this time, yeah. I know what I'm going to say to you all, Jamaica. They argue that they, they have inflation under control. So if you have inflation under control, how comes the, the food bill move from 1.1 to 2.1 billion? Not even 500 million more. Hmm. Not even five hundred million more. And we must just sit down like that. And then to be told. Some of the meals that the Jamaican people are getting in these hospitals are ridiculous. When I look and see people are having rancid cheese with crackers for 2.1 billion.